Hello everyone, I'm Musical Daredevil, still out here in the Ashlands in front of this very ornate door just like last time. Now, you'll remember that the last time we were in front of this door, I activated it and it didn't open. But now, I've rested for a few hours, it's now 6 o'clock game time, which you'll remember is one of the hours sacred to Azura. And now when I activate the door... In the dawn hour under Azura's star, the door is open. And now we end up in this cavern. Right here in the center of this cavern is a large statue of Azura, and in her hands is a very important ring. Let's pick up this ring and see what happens. Nerevar reborn, incarnate. Your first three trials are finished. Now, two new trials lie before you. Seek the Ashlander Ashkans and the Great House Counselors. Four tribes must name you Nerevarin. Three houses must name you Hortator. My servant, Nabane Meza, shall be your guide. And when you are Hortator and Nerevarine, when you have stood before the false gods and freed the heart from its prison, heal my people and restore Morrowind. Do this for me and with my blessing. So, right there in Azura's hands was the ring of Lord Nerevar, the moon and star. Now we'll just put this on just for fun. And now everyone will know that we're the Nerevarine because otherwise we'd be dead. But next you'll see that there are a whole bunch of very strange transparent people who are also in this cave with us. Let's go talk to them. This right here is Anateria. We can ask her about her story and she tells us that she studied a lot with the temple and actually contributed to the texts of distant priests. And then when we talk to her, she gives us a couple gifts as well. What all these people are is that they're all failed Nerevarines. Over the course of many years, Azura has brought forth and reincarnated a whole bunch of other Nerevarines, and all of them have died at some point or another before they're able to complete the prophecy. And the temple's been using that as an excuse to say that the Nerevarine prophecies are silly. This right over here is Peakstar, and she was actually the most recent of the Nerevarine incarnates. I think she was around about 30 years ago. And she gives us a belt and some travel stained pants, which are somewhat useful, and you'll probably see why later. And she also gives us a bunch of useless advice we already know. Everyone else in this cavern, however, can give us some very nice prizes once we ask them their story. Eridan ended up dying while trying to take care of the Blight on Red Mountain. He gives us a spear and a cuirass. And now I'm over encumbered because I picked up a whole bunch of nice stuff from Kogarun. Kunun Shodala, who also ended up dying on Red Mountain. He gives us an axe and boots. We've got this person, whose name I'm not going to try to pronounce. She actually died in Kogarun, where we just got all the way through the end. She gives us a good lockpick and probe, which are somewhat useful. And the final person is Hort Led. His story is that he just sat around and eventually ended up dying of old age and didn't really do anything. And that takes care of everybody in the cave. So, now that we have completed the third trial, we're in this dark cavern as there as I sees and gives us a cutscene, I guess, we can head back to the Urshalaku camp and continue on. My computer does not like this at all. Luckily, most of this will be spent inside. First, we'll go speak to Salmat Tool. And he is going to name us Nerevarine because, as Azura mentioned in that cutscene, we have to be named Nerevarine by all four Ashlander tribes. You flatter me with your attention, Outlander. Of course, this one's the easiest because we already know everybody there. But first, Solmatul wants to lecture us. First, he gives us a little bit of a warning. What he says is that all the people who are against the Nerevarine prophecy, mostly the temple and the people who follow them, are going to try and kill us, which is somewhat true, but that isn't going to happen for a while. 
The second thing he tells us is to speak to the Mani Mesa about how to speak to the other tribes. If you're new to the game, this would actually be pretty helpful, but since I've already played through the game, it's not that important. Now, one last thing we have to do before Soma to names us the Nervarine is we have to go through a couple more dialogue topics. First one is need, because Solmatu is being all eloquent. He basically says that we need to know the prophecies and a whole bunch of other stuff we already know. And finally there is duty, and duty sets up the rest of the main quest more so than the cutscene already did. What we're supposed to do is free the false gods, Vivek, Amalexi, and Sotha Sil, and defeat the Sixth House and Dagoth Ur, which Master Sir mentioned a couple updates ago. And the way we're going to do this is by destroying the Heart of Lorcan. So, now that we've gone through all that dialogue, Solmatu names us the Urshulaku Nerevarine, and he gives us the teeth of the Urshulaku in order to symbolize that somehow. And that just about does it for this update. I'm Musical Daredevil, and join me next time as we speak to one of the other Ashlander tribes and get named Nerevarine.